Welcome to the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 5, Momentum. The section is 5.B, Impulse. Here's the scenario. Two different boxes are pushed from rest on a frictionless surface at a time t with different forces. The, the first one on box 1 has a mass m, which is pushing at 3f. And the second box is has twice its mass, 2m, but it's pushed by a smaller mass of just f. First of all, they said in part A, you are going to identify the system by the circle in each object. The system in the first one is the box, and the second system is going to be that box. Next, now you are going to draw the free body diagram for these. The left one is box one, the right one is going to be box two. I'm going to start with the force gravity. The force of gravity on the first one, I drew this aerial. Then for box two, the force gravity, I double the magnitude. So I double the line here because the mass is twice. Same thing going to be for the force normal, which is going to be in the opposite direction. All right, same thing. If this has a length of three, this has a length of six. Next, we are going to draw the force that is being applied. On the first box, it is 3F, and on the second box, it's going to be a smaller one, which is just F. Here, the F here is unit three. I went over three boxes. So here, it was 3F, so I wanna make sure I went nine. This is just to make sure that you should see that the lengths are very important in terms of magnitude. This is how one F looks like if this. So therefore, this should be three F's. Now, for the next next part, we are going to draw the forces on here. You can label this in any way you want. I am going to label this the unit of one. This could be the unit of two. This is going to be unit three. This is going to be the unit four. So the first one on box one, um, it's going to be, I'm going to make that blue. It's going to be, has this length of 3F. Then box two is going to be in red. Box two is going to be in blue. I mean, I'm going to label it so we can see it. There you go. Box one is higher because it's 3F, and for box two, it's 1F. But notice that force is being applied on them on the same time. That's why they're both uh, flat lines. Now the next question asks this question. Using the equation for the area for a rectangle, because these are rectangles, if you would like to see what they mean by these are rectangles, please take a look. Notice box one can be formed this rectangle and box two can form this rectangle. Okay, where the length would be the force, the width would be the time. Okay, you can answer this question here. So the area here is equal to the net force times the, multiplied by the time unit. All right, okay, length times width. That the unit for that would be Newton times second, and that area would also be kilogram because that's the unit for Newton meter and meter over seconds would just be velocity. This area under the craft, um, kilogram times meter second is called the impulse or the change in momentum. It's mass times M over S, which is just going to be velocity. I would like to give you some more, um, some notes here. It gives you right here okay, that the impulse is the change in Momentum, you have it right here. The rate of change of momentum of an object is equal to the net force applied to it. You could see it like this. Delta F is equal to delta P over delta T. Delta P can be written as MV squared minus MV1. Delta T is on the bottom. Notice that you can substitute this, okay? This, the impulse can also lead you to force is equal to mass times acceleration. It's all the same, okay? This is your first piece of notes here. They talk about the impulse. The impulse is going to be the force times um, if you just multiply delta T to both, si to both sides here. 
you can see how the force will cancel okay not the force will cancel but take a look you're going to multiply this by delta t right so this canceled you multiply this by delta t that's how they get f times delta t equals to delta p and this is just another word for impulse which is the change in momentum okay but here's some notes if you would like to read it notice we could see that the total change in momentum is equal to the impulse now you're going to look at the box's initial momentum which is just defined by mom initial momentum is just m um, p is equal to mass times the velocity the impulse again is the change so that's your f times delta t and your final momentum would just be pf uh, pi is equal to mv okay let's see how that affects this so the initial momentum is there's flat it's basically flat because it comes from rest the impulse is going to be based on this we see box one is greater box two is smaller remember the first f is very large so look at the area this is a very large area okay so we can represent this let's say as this much likewise now we could see the blue it's going to be represented by this much so it is by like a third so a third would look something like that now you want to look for its total momentum in this case we can see that the impulse right here is the change in momentum so I'm going to just write out that equation for you so you so it can make sense for you here this is going to be equal to um, initial p no p final minus p initial so p initial here is zero so this goes to zero so the impulse is just equal to the final momentum therefore this should be completely mirrored to this it should be identical okay because nothing changed good let's look at the argumentation here now is the work done on the box y speeding up is greater than less than or the same amount of work done on the box remember what work is okay how is work involved into impulse think about that and give f a try all right now i'm going to go over part f and part g the work you have to remember this it's on your equation sheet work is equal to the change in energy there was the other one as work is equal to force times force times a distance that wouldn't work here there's no distance measurement here so we would use work in terms of energy work is equal to the change in energy i would say that box one which is going to be the red box has six times the final velocity because three times the force applied to one half the mass okay that should make sense because the equation is um, p it should be equal to um, work is equal to like one half mv squared initial minus one half mv squared final okay but oh sorry it's final minus initial so but this went to zero okay so notice if you plug in a three here okay that's where you get the six times which means box one has a much larger final velocity than box two therefore there must have a been a more significant work done on box one than box two remember box one will have more work done to it therefore it's going to have a it's gonna have more work done because more energy is being changed in that system because this is larger so technically a larger impulse um, will equal more work in the same given amount of time next is the impulse given in the first box 
while speeding up greater than, less than, or the same impulse as the second box when speeding up. So is the impulse the same or different? I would say impulse is equal to F times delta T. It's right there. Both boxes are pushed at the same time, so ignoring delta T, but box one is pu um, pushed by greater force. The area under the force versus time graph is greater for box one than box two. Therefore, impulse is greater for box one and than box two. Here you go. Let's mark this greater than and greater than. Okay, so both the box one does more work, has more impulse, same time though, same time, and this is only when they have the same amount of time, all right? There you go. These are all your solutions for 5B.